Depending on how new you are to headphones, you might be surprised to know how many types of headphones there actually are. There's, there's more than one. Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna pit two of those types together, uh, planar versus dynamic. The names planar and dynamic refer to the inducer or driver that actually produces the sound, uh, just like the drivers in your traditional speakers. That's, uh, that's this part right here. Dynamic headphones are by far the most common headphone type, and they're actually very similar to the drivers used in traditional speakers. There's a cone or diaphragm, a voice coil, a magnet, and a basket. I'm not gonna go too deep into how dynamic drivers produce sounds. I'd actually like to do a whole video series on that subject subject in the future, but basically they use an electromagnet to push and pull on the cone to produce sound waves. The biggest difference here being scale. Uh, everything in a headphone dynamic driver is smaller and lighter since you have to actually wear them on your head and lighter is more comfortable. Planar drivers use a, a different method to reproduce sounds, though it still uses a diaphragm or substrate to compress and then decompress air to produce sound waves. Instead of moving a cone with a relatively small voice coil, planar drivers spread that magnetic movement over the entire substrate. Again, I, I'm not going too deep into this right now, but if you want me to do whole videos dedicated to how the different types of drivers work, let me know down in the comments. All right, so now that we know there are differences in driver types, uh, what does that mean practically? Uh, do they sound different? Uh, why would you choose one over the other? Let's talk about it. I was gonna go down a list of comparing prices and styles and sounds, uh, but you really have to be talking about specific headphone models uh, to get that detailed. And, and even trying to be broad with general sound differences between planar and dynamic is still a little unfair. So before taking anything I say as gospel, know that different headphone manufacturers have a big impact in the voicing of their products. So one dynamic headphone can sound very different from a dynamic headphone made by someone else. And same goes for planar. But in general and in my experience, planar and dynamic headphones do have their own unique sound. To me, planar headphones tend to be more detailed and accurate uh, across the entire spectrum, but specifically in the mids and high tones over dynamic. This difference becomes very clear when listening to recordings with acoustic instruments and vocals. Uh, you can really pick up the subtle sounds of fingers moving on the acoustic guitar strings and the grit or character of a particular singer's vocals. Though this difference is also noticeable in all genres of music from EDM to hip hop, uh, I tend to notice most a, a certain crispness to sounds they reproduce. From what I understand, this is due to very low distortion and excellent transient response of planar drivers. Basically, that means they don't add any unwanted tones to your music or distortion. Uh, they react very quickly to changes in frequency, which is called transient response. On the other hand, if you're looking for power, like warmth, and a deep response in your music, to my ear, dynamics have you covered there. Although, again, this isn't general across all headphones, I, I find that the bass response in dynamic headphones to be more pleasing than planar. Um, if, I, if I'm like going to the gym and I'll be blasting metal or hip hop or something to get me fired up, <laughs> I'll almost always grab a pair of dynamic headphones. Think of like, Beats by Dre, that kind of thing. Dynamic headphones do tend to distort more than planar, and this is called nonlinear distortion. It's not really that like buzzing type of distortion, it's more of a change in the intended sound due to the physical limitations of the dynamic drivers, uh, which can make them sound less detailed. As far as pricing goes, planar headphones are more complicated to manufacture, so if you're going for value, you should look into a good pair of dynamic headphones you'll usually get more for your dollar. Also, some planar headphones are difficult for devices like a smartphone to power. Depending on the model, most planar headphones are suggested to be run by a dedicated headphone amp. So that's another thing you have to buy. All right, so in my opinion, nine times out of 10, if I'm just sitting at my desk listening to music, I'll grab my planar headphones. Um, I, I really like the increased detail and can usually go without the huge bass. But if I'm anywhere other than sitting at my desk and my computer, I grab my Sony headphones with active dynamic drivers. That's just how I like it. All right, let's pick this week's kit winner. 
you want a chance to win a kit, subscribe, comment, like, or dislike, that's on you. <laughs> and I'll pick another commenter next week. All right, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you got something out of this. Uh, and let me know down in the comments if you're enjoying these headphone videos. It's kind of new for me. All right, see ya.